Hi, I'm Karen McKenzie. I'm the author of JSF 2.0 Made Easy. I'm also the editor over at theserverside.com and I want to talk to you a little bit about creating JSF applications and using some more custom tags inside of our apps. In the last little tutorial that we did, we created a, a little application, a web application folder structure. We had our key files thrown into the lib directory and we created the basic web.xml and faces config file and even had a little hello world application which I'll open up right now. It really wasn't too crazy, just used a couple of the tags from the HTML library, although it did import all the various namespaces for the HTML core, facelets, and HTML tag libraries. What I'd like to do is I'd like to actually just make this a little bit more complicated. Um, and I was going to do that by adding in, well, just adding in a, a link tag and also adding in a debug tag to my code. So I'm going to copy this little link here, throw it under the hello world, maybe even format this a little bit. And if you want to get used to working with JSF, it's really about getting used to working with all of these different tags. And here I want to generate a link. What I do is I use the output link tag, give the tag a, a custom ID, specify the URL. This will create an anchor in my code. Of course right now it's a blank anchor. We want the user to actually have something to click on. And so I add in an output text tag and I specify get Java certified which will come up in a link. The other thing I'm going to add in is I'm going to add in a little facelets tag. And so there's a number of different tags. You can see here is a list of all of the different HTML tags from the HTML tag libraries. Here's all the different core tags from the core tag libraries. Here's some of the facelet tags right here. We're going to use the include tag. Also notice there's a JSF composite tag library which we'll get into just a little bit later. Now, or sorry, not the uh, include tag, we're going to use the debug tag. And the debug tag, it's actually kind of neat. What it does is it puts a little bit of a script inside of your code. And if you click control shift and then the hotkey, which defaults to D, but I like to change it to X, a little window will appear that will help you debug your application. And I'm going to save this, so file, save. I'm also actually just going to go into my web apps folder of Tomcat. Uh, I'm going to delete the old easyjsf.war file and the easyjsf folder there. I'm going to redeploy my application. And so I do that simply by running this java jar command which creates a war file using all of the different files that are underneath the easy JSF folder. A new war file should appear inside the web apps directory of Tomcat 7. Make sure you're using Tomcat 7. There it is right there. Then I go and run my application simply typing in startup from Tomcat's bin directory. A command window will appear and momentarily my application will come up. Everything is getting deployed and then it's just a matter of bringing up my page. I'm not sure if I gave it enough time to refresh but indeed it looks like I did. Tomcat is now running Here's my little application. Instead of saying just hello world, we now have this link that says get Java certified. I can click on that link and scja.com will come up. And there's actually the scja link right there. The other thing that's neat, if you actually look at the page source here, you'll notice that we've got this little function here. That's the facelets debug function. What will happen is if I go to this page and I press control shift X, I end up getting this debug output window, which will show me all of my scoped variables. Right now it looks like I don't have any. That's not too big a deal. Um, and it'll also show me the component tree. And the component tree is a great way to actually help you debug your applications that aren't behaving properly. And here basically what you see is you see what JSF generates on the server side when it's putting your page together. And 
when you start getting in depth into JSF, you have to start thinking about your components as a component tree. And it always starts out with the view root. Uh, right now we've got some output, which just outputs the header to our page. There's our title. Also some other custom outputs, namely the HTML output text link. So we've got some HTML output. And of course, not only are we outputting a link, but we're outputting some text inside of there, which is specifically our get Java certified element. We've even got at the bottom of our tree this little UI debug element with the hotkey of X. Interesting, it's actually put the X in uppercase letters. And so when I click Control Shift X, I actually get this window to come up. Anyways, that's about it. I'm not going to get too crazy because these are just some simple additions, but essentially one of the things we wanted to do here was just take a look at adding more tags to our page. So here we explored some of the HTML tags. We also explored the facelets debug tag. And you know, not only is that interesting and it'll help us improve our debugging techniques a little later on, it also verifies that, well, in fact, we're linking properly to the, the various facelets libraries and our testing environment is working properly. So anyways, that's it for this little tutorial. Hope you learned a, a little bit. Use that UI debug tag and Happy JSF!